All right, so we're here at World of Work 2024. It's a big event where they bring in over 2,500 kids from our region to learn about different kinds of things, and we're showing them game design in our booth. It's slightly lower key now because a bulk of the kids have already gone through, but I figured I'd film my intro now. But we're having them play Shared Soul, playing Burst, and also playing games on the Xbox Adaptive Controller, which is a special controller built for people with like different disabilities or amputations, that kind of thing. And we're teaching kids through gaming, so check it out. So, all right, there we're set up here at World of Work. You bet. And it's an event where they bring in several hundred middle schoolers. And they're not quite here yet, but this is just one zone. They have a couple zones outside, another inside area somewhere else. And the students learn all about different kinds of jobs that they can have. So we're showing off uh, different kinds of game design here in Montana. One of the things we're doing is we've got our accessibility arcade machine, which is powered by an Xbox Series S that's on the inside. And we have an Xbox adaptive controller here, along with switches that are hooked up because there's like um, audio jack like things all along the top that you plug in different switches that work with you know how a person's body might move if they ha have different disabilities. They even have ones that you can operate with your tongue if someone's like paralyzed from the neck down. So they can play a Ninja Turtles game here. We've got a demonstration of motion capture here with Sony Mokopi sensors. We've got uh, the Unreal 5 prototype of Shattered Soul playable. We've got Burst playable along with a holograph of Bop to show off. Yeah, and Trevor's showing off the basics of 3D modeling with cardboard models and explaining how that works. Yeah. Yeah. And then mom's got a keychain making station where the kids can make a keychain to commemorate their time checking out our booth. And we're That's about. Right. And yeah, because we, we always teach kids about acronyms. And swag's an acronym for stuff we all get. So yeah, the kids are supposed to be coming in soon and we'll be ready to go. All right. So we're still waiting for the middle schoolers to get up here. But we found out there's going to be a lot of kids today, and it takes time to put on and take off the Mokopi sensors. So we decided instead of doing motion capture today, we're just going to have the iPad run. First, uh, no. So it's going to be running that so they can hear Bob's voice acting. Because, you know, with our prototype games here, it's really easy to pick up, play a little bit, put down, and let someone else have it. Same thing with that. So we decided to run it like that. But almost showtime. Already got <laughs> Yes. Ten minutes in and the games are already a hit. People having more fun playing with the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Oh, wait, this and Shared Soul has had a line all day, which is so cool. <laughs> and then Burst has been doing good too, although I probably should. I think that, no, not that. That. There, that's back to normal. And these two are girls that are in a coding camp and they're playing Shared Soul. So it's so cool that we can show kids that 
you can actually get jobs in the game industry right here in places like Great Falls. So, pretty crazy the number of kids we have. This area just kind of cleared out, but they're getting ready to go to their next thing. But mom's doing keychains for a ton of kids. They're trying to get this group of kids out of here. That last group of kids is heading out that way. The next group of kids will be coming in this way. I think. Crazy, 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 already at Worlds of Work. As you can see, here comes the next round. Yeah. Mom's getting keychains started again. that are getting taken and made into keychains. Exhausted as hell already, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of getting out of the booth a little bit, but there is a ton of people here. This is the second group. Most of the video footage you've seen so far is from the first group. There's multiple groups of kids here from middle school and high school both from Great Falls area as well as surrounding smaller communities. And per usual for us, our booth is one of the busiest. But that's okay. We love doing what we do. And I've been really pleased with both Shattered Soul and Bursts showing here that we barely had to explain the controls to anyone. People have been picking it up and just getting it, which as a game designer, just kind of warms your heart to see that, yeah, people just fall straight in line with understanding what how the game is played and having a blast with it, and we've had a lot of people laughing. Oh, sure. What up? My hey. name's Brody. Hey. Where's, where's this going? Uh, on our YouTube here, I'll get you a card. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Yes, sir. But yeah. 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 yeah we're, Thank you. No problem. We're Montana's first PlayStation and Xbox certified game development studio. So what, what's the YouTube name? Uh, our YouTube name is Attitudes. But, oh. Like, it should be on there. Oh, like that right. that link will work or like it, when you do oh, okay. like youtube.com slash and to do the at sign and attitudes like that oh. no spaces or anything okay. I love you yes so bad. see ya cool Like, I cannot stress this enough that as a game designer, it is so cool when you work with your team on a game and then you see people just having a blast with it and lining up to play it. It's very, very addictive. Got wave three coming in now. And I need to kind of correct the thing I said earlier. It's every eighth and 10th grader in our entire region, not just the city of Great Falls, but all the tiny towns that are around us, too. So it's pretty cool to be able to show these kids, you know, games being made right in their backyard. But this is the third wave. So you, with all these people you see, we've dealt with uh, this times three so far, and we are nowhere near done. We've Let me double check my watch. We're at 11, and this goes until 2, so we got three hours left of waves of people that are learning about game development in Montana.
got a whole line of kids waiting to play. Oh, that's right. That's fine. That's fine. 